That may be the greatest catch I've ever seen in my life. All right, guys. I am sure you know. I am sure you are able to get in a few. But we have been running a ton of Dynasty Mock Startup Drafts on this channel as of late. If you were unable to join, I am very sorry. We've done like probably six or seven at this point. If you want to get in one, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel. More importantly though, make sure y'all are dropping likes on our videos just because I don't know if you can tell, but in the YouTube algorithm, if you're not dropping likes on our videos, if you are not consistently subscribed or turning on your notifications next to it, YouTube may not be recommending our videos every single time to y'all. They may not be recommending our live streams, but if y'all are dropping those likes, if you're subscribed and have your notifications on for the channel, every time we should go live, you should be able to get a notification on your phone. And if you're available, you should be able to hop into a mock draft with us. That way you can go up against us. I'll grade your draft. It'll be a ton of fun. But anyway, thank y'all all so much for having been able to hop in those mock drafts. And I'll say a very common theme for these drafts, at least in the first round, is all eyes are on that second overall pick. I, I mean, after Patrick Mahomes going off the board at the 101, because all our mock drafts are going to be super flex leagues, of course. We're not playing a no one quarterback league. But after that Mahomes pick, you have no idea where they're going to go. You don't know if they're going to go CMC. You don't know if they're going to go Barkley, Jonathan Taylor, Dalvin Cook, Alvin Kamara, Kyler Murray. I've even seen a Josh Allen, I think. I mean, it is just all over the place at the second overall pick. And I am kind of of the opinion that I think you need to be going running back. I think you need to be getting a bell cow running back after Patrick Mahomes is off the board. So this video, I'm going to dedicate trying to figure out who that running back should be. I would love to hear your opinion down in the comment section below. But yeah, let me dive into it and let's go running back by running back. And let's start it off with the guy that was the running back one or two in off season ago. And this is going to be Saquon Barkley. Okay, so at the time of this recording, Saquon Barkley literally just turned 24 years old. And y'all know if you've been following the channel for a while, I mean, on certain positions, age really doesn't come into factor too much for me, except at the running back position. At the running back position, contract situation and age is everything because we need the opportunity to be there for a long duration of time. So Saquon Barkley just turning 24. Obviously, age is not going to be a concern for the foreseeable future. But what I know a lot of people are concerned with is his injury history. I, I mean, right now, I've had conversations on Patreon with people of them telling me, I mean, I like Saquon Barkley, but I'll just never take someone who just tore their ACL that early in a dynasty startup. And I'm sitting here going, why? I, I, I mean, with modern medicine right now, with Kevin Durant just coming back and being his prime self after a torn Achilles, I mean, with athlete after athlete looking like ACLs are absolutely nothing, I don't understand the scare of avoiding Saquon Barkley. I mean, it would be different if Saquon Barkley tore his ACL in like week 12 or week 13. Remember when Cooper Cup did so a few seasons ago and people were worried about him starting the year off slow or maybe not even starting it on the active roster. Well, well, even with Cooper Cup tearing that ACL after, I want to say, week 10, he was still able to go out there and start the season right away. So with Saquon Barkley having this very clean tear all the way back in week two, there should be no question marks about this injury lingering on into 2021 or his future career because up until this point, at least up until 2019, Saquon Barkley was relatively the picture perfect health of a running back, someone that you wanted to see any prospect on your team look like. And let's just take a step back. Let's remember what kind of a generational talent Saquon Barkley is. I mean, back in 2018, his rookie season, Saquon Barkley was able to average 16 carries per game, which is nothing out of the normal range. But what is not normal with Saquon Barkley is five yards per carry on top of this. And not only that, more importantly, 5.7 receptions per game in his rookie season. He totaled 91 receptions at the running back position, 126 total yards per game. I mean, he had over 2,000 total yards his rookie season in 2018. Now, I know we are all so excited about Jonathan Taylor. I know we are all so excited about DeAndre Swift, J.K. Dobbins, Cam Akers, Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And for great reason, because when you see these young running backs have a great season, you know they're on that rookie contract. I mean, that is dynasty gold. That is what I talk about us targeting 
all of the time. But guys, I mean, no other running back came close to this this past season. I mean, Jonathan Taylor with his fantastic rookie year, I tweeted this out a couple days ago. I mean, truly was not even close to what Jonathan Taylor was able to accomplish. I'm sorry, Saquon Barkley was able to accomplish and that Jonathan Taylor this year had three games over 100 rushing yards and four games under 30 rushing yards. Whereas if you look at the same criteria for Saquon Barkley, his own rookie season, I mean, Saquon Barkley had seven games over 100 rushing yards his rookie season and no games under 30 yards. I mean, much more consistent, a ton of top end production at the same time and the usage in the receiving game. We know he is the elite athlete. We know he has the best size profile imaginable. In 2019, he comes out and yes, he takes a step back, but I want everybody to remember he was dealing with that high ankle sprain in 2019. He only missed three games, but he was actually on the injury report for five games. So a couple of the games that he played, he was dealing with that nagging injury, which of course is going to affect his numbers. But still, I mean, they were fantastic. He averaged almost 17 carries a game, over four and a half yards per carry, over 110 total yards, four receptions, eight total touchdowns. I mean, Saquon Barkley truly is the best running back in the entire NFL from a talent standpoint. Now I'll say right off the bat, y'all know I'm not the person to say talent is everything. I'm not the person to say we should draft our dynasty team purely off talent because if you're doing that, you are going to be losing. That's not how you win in dynasty. But I'm just trying to nail home the fact that Saquon Barkley is the most talented running back in the entire NFL. We are all so excited about Jonathan Taylor. We are all so excited about these other guys. But just because we have not seen Saquon Barkley dominate at the NFL level for a few seasons now does not mean that talent's not there anymore. It just means he got unlucky. He tore his ACL in week two. We see this with players all of the time. But going forward, do we really need to worry about injuries? I, I mean, in college, it was not a concern at all. And throughout his entire NFL career, the only injuries that he has suffered is in a high ankle sprain in 2019 and a torn ACL in 2020. I mean, Saquon Barkley will be back in 2021. He's not going to be back to a fantastic situation. Obviously, there are a ton of concerns around Daniel Jones and what he's going to be able to do for the New York Giants. Obviously, there are concerns about that offensive line. But I mean, guys, what are we talking about right now? He has a guaranteed year left on that rookie contract as well as a team option as well that is definitely going to get picked up. So Saquon Barkley is going to be an extremely safe asset for the next three to four seasons in Dynasty Fantasy Football. He's one of the most talented running backs as well in the NFL. I mean, definitely someone that has been going in the 106, 107, 108 range in some of these Dynasty mock drafts that we've been doing. And y'all are crazy because Saquon Barkley is clearly in consideration for the running back one overall in Dynasty. We're not going to name them that yet. Let's go through some of these other running backs. And now our next running back is going to be someone that has gone off as the running back one in the majority of these mock drafts. And this is also someone who has generally maintained a great status of health throughout his entire football career, except up until 2020. But this is Christian McCaffrey. Okay, with Christian McCaffrey, he was drafted in the 2017 draft class, already playing on his second contract. So naturally, you would assume with CMC, oh, he's probably a little bit older than Saquon Barkley. He's probably 25, 26 years old. I mean, that would make sense for where he was drafted. But Christian McCaffrey, still only 24 years old. And I know I just got done drooling over Saquon Barkley in his 2018 season. But let's look at Christian McCaffrey right now and what he was able to accomplish in 2019 where he had 18 carries a game, 150 total yards per game by Christian McCaffrey. Over seven receptions a game. I, I mean, this amounts to almost 2,400 total yards and over 115 receptions for Christian McCaffrey in 2019 and totaling 19 touchdowns as well. Now with Christian McCaffrey, on the other hand, I'm actually much more worried about his injuries. I mean, 2020 was a bad year for CMC. Suffering a high ankle sprain, which is what we saw with Saquon Barkley in 2019, but also an AC joint sprain combined with a thigh injury as well. And I think that when we are looking at a Saquon Barkley and we are looking at these injuries being two separate things, that's not really something we need to worry about, especially when he gives himself the timetable to come back. But with Christian McCaffrey, I mean, he's a player that came into the NFL I don't want to say undersized, but more sized as a third down running back, someone that profiled to return kicks as well as catch passes, not be a workhorse. And then he put on a ton of mass, a ton of muscle 
onto his frame. That way he can handle that workhorse type workload. But I don't know if he can. I, I, I know it's crazy to say, but I am more worried about the injuries with Christian McCaffrey than I am with Saquon Barkley. And with Christian McCaffrey, I'll say his situation is a little bit different in that there are so many variables moving where we don't know with Joe Brady in that offensive coordinator position what it's going to look like this upcoming season. We don't know what the quarterback is going to be. But what could actually help CMC is if Curtis Samuel's gone. We know Curtis Samuel, even when CMC is playing, is always getting those gadget touches, always getting those touches closer to the line of scrimmage. Really, they love to do a ton of unique things with Curtis Samuel, taking a little bit of usage away for, from CMC. So I'll say in a redraft league, I definitely prefer having Christian McCaffrey over Saquon Barkley compared to a dynasty league. But in Dynasty, I think we have a real question on our hands. But I also want to address the fact that y'all know I am always rookie running back contract, rookie running back contract, rookie running back contract. I never want these running backs once they're off that contract. I never want these running backs once they're on their second deal. But in the case of Christian McCaffrey, we don't need to be worried about it. I mean, he has significant guaranteed money until 2023 where Christian McCaffrey is going to be an extremely safe asset. Now, if we are talking about who I think should be the true dynasty running back one here between Christian McCaffrey and Saquon Barkley, I know I'm going to sound crazy, but I genuinely think that we need to be going with a Saquon Barkley and that when we are looking at Saquon Barkley, I mean, coming out of college, coming out of Penn State, he had the most tantalizing profile that you were ever going to see from a running back prospect. On top of that, his rookie season, he had just about the best rookie running back season of all time. In 2019, he was still giving us that elite production through his high ankle sprain in 2020. I know it was a lost season. He tore his ACL in week two, but I think the situation will definitely get better with the New York Giants looking like they are going to address the offensive line this offseason, most likely with their very high selection in the NFL draft. And with Daniel Jones taking another year, with the New York Giants possibly going back-to-back -back offensive linemen in the first round, I think that we should be a little bit more excited about this New York Giants offense, and we should be a little bit more excited about a running back still on his rookie contract, a running back that is the most talented guy in the NFL in a situation that is improving. And to my knowledge, to my perceived situation, I don't think we need to worry about his injuries at all. We are going to go with Saquon Barkley as the running back one in Dynasty over Jonathan Taylor, over Christian McCaffrey, over Alvin Kamara, over Dalvin Cook. I don't care. Go with Saquon Barkley.